Hello and welcome to another Computer Software Is Your Friend tutorial. Today I will show you how to update your Acer Aspire 1 to 10.6.4. First you will need to go to my website which is in the link in the description and download the following files. As you can see the, uh, the site is a full tutorial so whatever is not covered here will be covered there for sure. Um, so essentially you're going to need the Apple package, the sleep enabler, the graphics files, and Kext utility. Note that um, some of these files are specific to the Acer Aspire 1. Now what the first thing you're going to do is you're going to run the Mac OS X 10.6.4 update DMG which is downloadable from the link in the web page I showed you earlier. So now it will open 10.6.4 um, updater. Now the reason why I'm doing this incrementally and not going straight to 10.6.7 um, let's say in one shot is because I want to avoid as much as possible breaking any drivers or any compatibility. I want to make sure that when I get to 10.6.7 that my Mac uh, on the Acer Aspire 1 is still working because when I installed 10.6.3 I had it working flawlessly so now it is going to open the update so essentially what you do is you run the package you run it until um, it's complete it will then prompt you to restart but that's you don't restart and you don't even close it you just let it be like I'm going to show you how it looks in the beginning but I'm going to close it because I'm not going to install 10.6.4 again. This, by the way, 10.6.4 is already installed. So you just continue and you accept the agreement. And uh, then it will prompt you where to put it. it. It will choose the right place. And you just hit install. So I'm not going to hit install because I already have it updated. Then in the end, of course, you'll see the restart screen. Um, so then once you see that restart screen you're going to install uh, sleep enabler using kext utility so essentially just a drag and drop enter your password and you're you're set to go then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna replace the boot files so go to spotlight and type in com.apple that should be enough to find it but what you're going to do is you're going to do show all because essentially you don't want to open the file you want to open the place where it's located so as you can see I have a lot of com.boot.plist so I want to make sure it's the right one I have two partitions of Mac so I gotta make sure that I change this partition and not the other one this one obviously is not good not this one either let's see nope not this one that one's for the other partition um, that's one of my saved files somewhere that one too all right, here we go. We found it. So as you can see, it's in the hard drive that's necessary. It's in the extra folder, and it's com to apple dot. Well, you get the idea. Then you right-click, open, and closing folder, and you're gonna see everything that you need to see. So now in the downloads, there was the graphics um, zip. Well, essentially in that that folder, I don't know why it named itself Tim when it extracted, but okay. Um, Essentially, you're going to go to the extra folder inside, and obviously, you can see it's pretty straightforward. The stuff that's in the extra folder goes in the extra folder, and you authenticate, and you allow it, and then the general extensions folder, you basically take the stuff from the new general extensions folder and, and throw it in. As you can see, you just throw it in. You just move it and copy-paste it in. Okay, so it's 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 not that difficult. Although this will break the permissions, so you will have a boot error to start. But that's fine and dandy as long as you have your install media that you used in the first place, the Iacos disk. You'll be fine. So now that's it with um, installing these files manually. The next thing you're going to do is 
actually in that same folder you're basically going to install the uh, the kecks that will be this that were destroyed during the installation notably in graphics because the first time I tried this everything worked but quartz extreme and quartz extreme is crucial to have a good performance on Mac so let's just fix that right away we just take these three that were in the original folder drag them to Kex utility enter the password let it do its thing and you're gonna you're gonna be good to go so then you're gonna go back to the installer and restart or you can do it manually but I actually recommend using the installer I'm just showing you it this way because I don't have the installer open <laughs> so then once you restart you're going to need to plug in your bootloader USB and your um, IATCOS USB that is very important and what you're going to do is you're going to go to the utilities menu and go to disk utility and I'm going to show you in this video how to do it because the disk utility in Mac is the same as in the installer um, unless of course you have another Mac partition then of course if you follow my video you'll be set to go um, so essentially it's you're going to open disk utility in the installer or another partition of Mac on your computer and essentially it's going to gather all the disk information that's normal so then you're going to once once that's done you're going to choose the disk that contains your updated Mac as you can see I have two Mac partitions and a Windows partition so I'm installing it on Mac OS X so I'm going to repair the disk permissions manually and uh, because I have the other Mac partition I don't need to boot in the installer although for most who are just using one partition it will work. I already tried it. It works. So then that will fix the boot problem. So then you're going to need to enter a, a specific text in the bootloader as soon as it boots up. Now you will not be booting off of the bootloader that's installed. You will be booting off the bootloader on the USB until we're done. So I'm just going to type out the text here and uh, so that you can see it. So basically when you boot, okay, you're going to type the following text. And I'm going to make it larger after I write it. So you're going to write PM version equals 20 space graphics enabler equals yes. Now the punctuation in which we use this is very important. If you don't write it exactly like that, it won't work. So I just made it bigger. There's a keyboard shortcut, so I'll continue with the keyboard shortcut from here. It might be a little laggy because of the screen recorder, and it's on an Acer Aspire 1, which isn't exactly the strongest computer. So to recap, PM version equals 20, graphics enabler equals yes. So just remember that. I'll make it a bit bigger so that you can write it down. And that's essentially how you get back into your Mac. And of course you'll have the graphics enabled. So now to prove to you that I did install 10.6.4, here's my about, about this Mac. As you can see there's 10.6.4. I'll zoom in just in case the resolution doesn't come out pretty good. Um, so again, I, I'm pretty sure that was control and eight or something. I have a guide on, on shortcuts. Obviously I didn't memorize it, but I have a guide on shortcuts. It's I think part nine or something. You can look on the site and yeah, I'm zooming in now. Um, 10.6.4 as you can see. Now to prove that the graphics work, let's go to the dashboard. Um, just give me a sec. I'm going to go to the dashboard, hitting F12, and now the biggest key indicator is how the new uh, gadget will open. Um, so basically one of the best tests for this is to add a new gadget. If you see waves, as you can see on this video it will look more like a, a, a smudge. That's pretty much it. And obviously iMovie will not open unless there's uh, unless the graphics work. 
to the fullest extent. I mean, yes, you can reinstall the graphics drivers, but getting Quartz Extreme enabled is an arm and a leg to uh, to get done. So we'll just open iMovie. I have iMovie uh, installed on the other partition, so it will tell me that there's an error. It'll tell me to reinstall, but it will open. Don't worry. The the main test of this is to make sure that it doesn't say that Quartz Extreme is disabled. As you can see, there's missing uh, components. What we do, um, it's going to open. That is what matters. As long as we don't see the Quartz enabler or Quartz Extreme graphics thing, whatever that message is, is not there. We're good to go. And that was my initial problem when I updated to 10.6.4 and uh, resolved. So then once you're done installing 10.6.4 and you're back in, essentially you're going to reinstall the bootloader. Um, so essentially it's in your applications menu, but I mean I don't need to show you that. It's in the tutorial in the link. And uh, here's iMovie. As I promised, it works. And obviously if the graphics didn't work, this one either. So check out the rest of the series and of course for more tutorials you can check out my website.